Good morning, this is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. Markets were mixed on Thursday as traders await Friday's July jobs report, which will give the latest snapshot on the labour market and the health of the US economy. A slight uptick in weekly jobless claims reported Thursday morning weighed on investors watching for signs that labour market strength is dwindling. The July jobs report, scheduled to be released Friday, will show how employers hired last month. Economists estimate that the US economy added 258,000 jobs in July, down from 372,000 in June. The jobless rate is forecast to remain at 3.6%. In the UK overnight, the Bank of England announced its biggest interest rate increase since 1995. It raised its rates by half a basis point overnight and forecast that the annual rate of inflation would top 13% when household energy bills climb in October. That would be the, uh, Britain's highest level of inflation in 42 years. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 0.26% overnight. The S&P 500 was flat and the Nasdaq Composite increased 0.4%, its highest close since early May. In addition, investors will get an updated look at inflation data from the July Consumer Price Index report next week. Earnings season continued with a slew of reports on Thursday. Eli Lilly shares fell after the company missed Wall Street's estimates for its quarterly results and cut its full year forecast. Investors will get another batch of earnings on Friday. Virgin Galactic, AMC Entertainment and Beyond Meat are scheduled to report after the bell. Across the sectors, once again, energy was the worst performing sector as global oil prices dropped on Thursday to their lowest level since before Russia's February invasion of Ukraine as traders fretted over the possibility of an economic recession later this year that could torpedo energy demand. The oil price lost 2.3% to 88 US dollars a barrel. Now there's a new meme stock in town. It's called AMT Digital, a Hong Kong based fintech company. The stock staged an epic stock rally the other day, at one point touching a market value of more than $450 billion, putting it ahead of Meta, Alibaba and Disney. While shares fell about 34% the other day, it's still up 14,000% since its IPO last month. The company said there are no material circumstances for its stock spiking, but nonetheless thanked investors, aka the hordes of Reddit traders who pumped its value. It was the most mentioned stock on the platform yesterday. In currency news, one Australian dollar has strengthened by 69.0 US cents. On the commodity front, iron ore futures are pointing to a 1.5% fall. Gold climbed 1.7% to hit a fresh one-month peak on Thursday, underpinned by a retreat in the US dollar and US Treasury yields, and as investors kept a close eye on US-China tensions. Silver was up 1.2%, copper was up 0.4%. Today, the SPY futures are pointing to a flat start to the ASX. This is Tim McGowan. Have a great day.